terms of waiting, um, I applied for self-employed. And now, after three weeks, uh, I returned to SSS to pay my contribution. And after that, I thought I'm going to have my ID. But not yet now because I need to wait for another two weeks for my contribution to be verified or whatsoever posted. So, I will be back after two weeks and another um, shitty line there to have my SSS ID. Yep, what a waste of time. Instead of going home, I decided to go to my dad's office because, you know, I decided I could hitchhike and save some money. And he could, you know, give me some free food. I don't know if this recording is really clear. Because I'm walking beside the road. Everything is recorded on a computer. So why use a computer if you're going to it for another two weeks? Isn't it is already in their system? Oh, I just, I just hate it that I need to go out after two weeks again to go back there and get a number, wait in line just to get an effing ID. Oh, I hope the universal ID will be soon. No, will be soon approved because getting a lot of you know different identification is really a waste of time i don't know what to oh my god so i'm going to share a secret a secret about me not having and you know government ID. I only I'm still using my student ID as a form of identification. I still use it for requirements of oh, buses so no so loud. And yep, I still use my LPU school ID because I don't have any other form of government ID and yep so I'm near at my dad's office So I get a budget of 100 for free food.
Dadaanin nyo yung ambulansya! Baby, mo maliliit. Ang baby mo maliliit. Ang baby mo maliliit. 